That's me. Welcome to Love, Marriage, and Coffee, you guys. Uh, this is LMC Talk, and I want to welcome Tom, Mr. Tom, and Eve Berganova Sintop. How long have you guys been married? Two and a half years. Did you know that? Two and a half years. Honey, did you know that? <laughs> we married for two and a half years, but we know each other since like no, 2005. Not, honey, honey, that's not the question. Uh, ask, answer the question as it's, as it's given to you, please. <laughs> okay, so two and a half years it is. Yes. Eve, I detect an accent. Where are you from originally? Oh, I am Russian. So how did you even tell me? Your turn. Oh, my turn? Oh, I was a police officer at the time. She was a paralegal. We met during a case. Oh, okay. That was a long time ago. That was back in 2005. Five. Okay, so where did you guys go on your first date? Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> really? Yeah, yes. and, and she, she paid. No. <laughs> I didn't have any anything to do. You just gave me some soda or something. <laughs> that was our big first date. Real romantic. Wow. We even know okay. we even know where it was at. We remember exactly where it was at. Yeah. Okay. So Eve. Yes. Wait till next time. What was your first impression of him? Um. Let's stop it. <laughs> he was very smart looking. He was. He impressed me that he was caring. Like he's listening, mm. he's really listening to you, and he he was caring. Okay, and what about you, Tom? Um, she was different in the sense that her accent was different. She was from a different country. Was she was very interesting that way. Um, she was uh, very beautiful. Um, I was just attracted to her from the very beginning. So when did you realize she was the one, Tom? Um. Well, it had to be at the Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Not chicken. <laughs> it, was the, it wasn't the chicken, it was Eve. <laughs> you know what, he spooked me. That though. was the first time I kissed her. He's, yes, yes, he did. But he spooked me yeah. before we went for, for, for uh, our first date. He sent me a bouquet of flowers to the office. And he didn't sign it. And I was, I was breaking my brain trying to figure out who sent me flowers. Did you find out? I did. Okay. How did I chase. I had to chase the delivery woman, and I said, "You have to tell me." <laughs> and the woman was like, "I was told not to." I said, "Do you understand? This it could be dangerous. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of stalker or something." So she did tell me. <laughs> and I was stalker. It was. It was. I was a stalker. So. You were stalking her a little bit, Tom. Just a little bit. No, a lot, dear. A lot. A lot. <laughs> what is your spouse's favorite features to you? You go first. Well, you always give me all the tough questions. Sure. Okay. She's very, very beautiful, very smart, very, very, you know, when she gets involved in something, she's very focused on it. She's very relentless about what she does. My, How can you talk that deep? You My can, turn. She can. Hold on. I'm just speechless. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, Debbie, I may never, <laughs> may never know. No, no, Debbie, it's no way she's speechless. Trust me. <laughs> There's absolutely no way that she would ever be speechless. In everything. Like, he takes care of me, of, my, of our entire family. He takes care of everybody. He's just loving and caring person. Um, I've never met anybody better than him. You know, it's, it's weird. I just, I have, a, I have a tendency to be that way, you know, to just to be very, um, like, I, need, I have a need to take care of, you know, people. I think that's why I was a police officer. I think that's why I'm like that even now, even when I'm not working. I haven't been working a long time, but I, I have that. It's like an internal thing in me that just keeps on pushing me to just, you know, like I take care of the, I take care of the animals. I take care of my kids. I take care of her. Um, but he knows when I need anything or something. It's just like you don't need to say he just brings it to you or yeah. he does what what it, it, it it's amazing well i think i think wow. the thing is because we've been together so long i have been married as long we've been together so long that even when she says no i don't want something i still know that she wants it you know yeah, i mean it's five minutes later i will change my mind and right. he knows that well you know the thing is she's got 12 brains did she tell you that story 
She has twelve yeah. brains, so she has twelve brains, so it. I've learned to deal with all twelve of them. That's what he thinks, and he thinks no, that they're not, they're not always in sync. Sometimes yeah. they're in conflict. They're, <laughs> the they're, brains. they're in conflict most of the time. So, so Tom, you, you retired as a police officer? Yes. How long ago? 2007. And then I, uh -huh. I started working um, as a managing a private investigative office for a while. And then um, with all this COVID, it kind of stopped. The, the office kind of shut down. So I've been doing some just freelancing. You know, whenever I get a chance with some of the attorneys that I was introduced to by Eve, that I still do some work. Um, I got my son involved in the PI business, but m m right now, primarily, I'm just a bum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm living. I'm living off the good off the good money that Eve makes. All right. Now, what makes you happiest as a wife or a husband? Let me to go first again. No, I'll go first. Oh, okay. Thank you. You know, I feel the most comfort and safety and love when I am with my husband. When he is not home, I feel physical absence of him. You know, it's just uh, I can't sleep alone. If he if he has to travel somewhere, I I have sleepless nights. Well, you know, the thing is, it's like she went to Atlanta and she was gone for two weeks and she was like out of her mind. I went, I was gone. I I, I left. And was out of town for two or three days, and she was worse because I wasn't home. I think because I've kind of spoiled her in, in the sense that I take care of her all the time, and now that I wasn't home, then she wasn't getting spoiled like oh, that. It's not about spoilers <laughs> being spoiled. It's just <laughs> you just so used to have your love next to you, and um, you know, I, I, if if he's not around, I miss talking to him. I miss seeing him. I miss. You know, we do we do get along extremely well. Even even when we have our bad moments, we still we get past them. They're 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 fleeting. They're fleeting problems, and then you know we've always been able to you know get past it and not let it, not let it dwell on us. And then we move on, and uh, we have we have a good time together. I, I, wherever we go, if we go camping, if we go kayaking, or if we're driving in the car, there's never quiet time. There's never you know awkward times I mean with my kids with her kids you know there's there's no there's no issues as far as um, uneasiness you know we just we get along doing everything what's your, your favorite place you visited together I would say it's on vacation was when we went to Costa Rica what two years ago yeah I used to live down wow. there I used to live in Costa Rica when I was in high school back in the middle 70s and um, so we went back there two years ago like a belated honeymoon and uh, we really had a good time and we spent what a week down a week, there? Yeah. almost a week down there and we went all over the country and um, it was just it was fantastic I mean everywhere we went we didn't have any problems the food was great uh, the accommodations were good uh, all the places we stayed it, it was wonderful. It was it was a, a fantastic fantastic time to spend. I mean, we enjoy going camping a lot, and we go to certain certain camping spots, and we have a good time because we like you know the amenities there and being outdoors. Being outdoors, and, yeah. Uh, yeah cooking outside. Cooking outside. That's my favorite. Yeah. So, but I'd say um, country country of would be Costa Rica for me anyway. All right. So, how would you say you guys are different? Um, I'm much, I'm much more relaxed and I, I don't get bothered by a, a lot of stuff. She gets uh -huh. unless it's somebody cut him off. Uh, yeah, him when off I'm driving, I'm driving. I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty much you know a maniac with other people driving. But in general, I'm much calmer and much more relaxed. She's a little bit more intense and uh, mm -hmm. more driven. Um, as far as work is concerned, and she gets more anxious and stressed with work and with, you know. Absolutely. He described it perfectly. My 12 brains are they, they, always in <laughs> They work overtime. <laughs> overload. Yeah. Then they, and the thing is, is they overload her, and then she can't, she, it's hard for her to function because she's so, she's got so much going on, and she's trying to calm them so she can get work done, and it's, it's tough for her. 
So all I need is just I come over and I say give me a hug and he does and that's it. Everything is good. Well exactly. now, how are you guys similar? Well, I think that well, I, I I think the love for our kids, the love for the you know the the animals that we have, um, um, we have common interests like camping, um, being outside. Uh, yes, we like most of the shows that we watch on TV yeah. or things we. Um, yes, we do share common interests. Um, well, some things, you know, obviously she has her own certain certain interests of her own, like quilting and cooking. All right, so one household chore you absolutely hate doing. So it's something that, you know. I don't really have, I don't know that I really hate. See, I don't, I do the dishes manually. I don't, she uses a dishwasher, so I don't, I think she probably hates doing dishes like that. I don't really like mopping the floor like she does. She does it on her hands and knees, which makes no sense to me. But <laughs> that's my style. <laughs> that's her style. Um, that's how it gets clean, a hundred percent. Oh, okay. So, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything that really I detest on. I mean, I like cleaning uh, most of the time. I, I'm not too thrilled about cleaning out the litter box, but and sweeping the floor. Work. Oh, it's not a chore. <laughs> yeah um i would like to have more time to do my chores that's that's i guess <laughs> i would like to have less work hours and more you know house chores hours are you happy with the amount of time you spend together seeing that you work a lot and you're sometimes overwhelmed. Are you happy with the amount of time you spend together? No, I want some more. I wish I didn't have to work and we would just spend 24-7. He may, you know, escape at some point. But, you know. <laughs> well, I, you know, with this COVID thing, it's, it's interesting because she's home all the time now. I have my routine and she's working most of the time. But it hasn't created... It hasn't created any problems in the marriage because we're seeing each other more than we did before because because she's home all the time. I think it's personally I like the fact that she's working from home because we spend more we spend more time now together than we did before because she was at the office. Um, prior to this job, she was you know she had late hours and she was working much much more from the office. Um, but we see each other much more and, and it hasn't created any kind of like good lord you know i need a break because you know I, I go i go out in the morning and i you know i do my thing and then usually by you know i have a routine that i go through during the day and we fit lunches in together and we fit we have romantic lunches well lunches. Th that's when we're not interrupted by her best friends <laughs> sometimes i get cold <laughs> while we're eating <laughs> Go on romantic lunches. So I guess you are happy with the amount of time you spend together to eat because you want to be around him twenty four seven, which which is great. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm sure we would find something to do, um, but unfortunately, that's I guess the balance in life. You have to work and then you have to play and then sleep okay. and then work again. So are you satisfied with your marriage the way it is right now? Yes. Hey, listen, I, I we are made for each other there's no doubt in my mind i mean from from the i think from the beginning from when we first met from kfc yeah from k well we met before that but from then uh you know we i've i've realized it even more now in these last during this COVID thing that she's been home that i've been around her all the time and much more and you know we've helped each other get through this transition of her being at home and I she know, she's is. a diva she is, she's a diva <laughs> she's very much if you were to if you were to see the office right now she's sitting in a big big chair like the queen she is and then i'm sitting in some small little chair right next to her <laughs> because i'm sitting in this queen huh? chair all day long well, I need, it needs to be but, comfortable but seriously that's the that's the relationship here is you're the queen and i'm i'm the soldier. <laughs> Another question for you guys. Are you good at making decisions together? Yes. Yeah. All the decisions we make other than, you know, every once in a while, you know, one of us have to make a decision. Some small stuff. Sometimes small stuff. It's, it's, it's those decisions that to surprise another person. Right. I mean, 
but some serious decisions we discuss and some sometimes silly decisions we also discuss yeah. yeah are you both good at apologizing i am yeah i mean a lot but you know there's not yes i think we both are uh, but there's not that many occasions that we have to go i'm sorry you know i mean we've had our our battles every once in a while but it's not been like you know something that's lingered for days you know we just we get past it sorry let's move on you know and yes usually it's shortly yeah short conflict yeah. usually it's um uh, me apologizing then. Because <laughs> I'm always the guy. Oh, happy, why I'm, happy life? That's right, I'm always the guy getting in trouble. So. <laughs> All right. What is your love language? What is my the, our what love language? Your love language, right? I, I... English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't speak that much Russian in the house. <laughs> for me, it's for me, it's kissing and and holding her and touching and. Yes, I I need I you listen. We were sitting watching TV, we we're holding each other's hands because I need to 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 feel his presence. Yeah. Usually, wow. usually she usually she lays her head on my lap and she falls asleep, but that's that's another story. <laughs> Do you truly listen to each other's ideas or complaints? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, first thing in the morning, or I mean, whenever I if I need to share an idea or some experience i call him right away if he's not home if he's home and he's in the garage i chase him like hey i need to tell you this <laughs> we we communicate very well with each other uh you know we, we tell each other the, what's going on during the day she vents i vent uh you know we 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 share yeah, the, things that when we're not together during the day we we find we find a time during the day to to be able to exchange what's been going on So now, how important is it to you to keep up your physical appearances? <gasps> All right, that's a loaded question. It's it's it, for me. It's very important. Uh, okay. You know, I'm I'm very very health conscious as far as working out, what I eat. I don't smoke or drink. My physical appearance, not just not that I how I my face I look, but just to be my for my body to be in in good shape because of the stuff I do. Physically, I you know I run Spartan races, I kayak, I'm outside all the time. So physically, if okay. I if, physically if I didn't do any of that, I would I would my my attitude and my personality and my my mental state would be pretty crappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it, got it. What about you, Eve? Well, um, I guess I can say that I am experiencing a side effect of. COVID, I stopped going to the gym and I am sitting all day long and that has its effect. Um, I do have a plan to get back to my, to the way I like how I look like. <laughs> what? What, so what did you do before COVID as far as keeping up physical appearances? Well, I, um, I went to the gym, I did kickboxing, boxing, um, some... Uh, well, you ran a just, couple of spot races with yes, me. Yes, I, I mean, did. You did you ran a, a, one, of the, one of the gauntlet races, one of the, one of the obstacle races with me. Um, yes, it was more for fun, I guess. It, uh, I I just, you know, side effect. That's how I describe it to myself. Well, you know, uh, you're, I think you're, that, still, you're still beautiful. You're still beautiful, uh, by the way. I, well, you're still beautiful. yeah, she is. But I, are, I I think the thing is, beautiful. like she said, this COVID issue is, and and working from home, and the you know the. The quantity of work that all of a sudden that all of a sudden they get, that all of a sudden that she's been ex exposed to has kind of made her a hermit here in the house. I mean, like she said today, you know, I need to get outside. I need to get out and get fresh, smell some fresh air. Uh, so she took a walk with me, walking the dogs. If you don't like the way you look or you don't feel good, it's it you know the best thing you can do is try to work on trying to get all that better. But if circumstances don't allow you to do that. You know, it, it affects your mental, your mental state, not just your physical state. When conflict arises, do you tend to avoid it? If there's like a, a huge issue that's happening, do you handle it head on or you tend to avoid it? Or you avoid it for a little bit and then go back to it or you avoid it completely? All right, I'll start. I know in my 
for me, if there is some, if there is a problem, it needs to be addressed. Because if it's not, so I would bring it up and we will discuss it. Because if I don't, and it it just keeps boiling in my head and makes me crazy, and uh, I know it affects the way I act in our relationship. So if there is something that needs to be addressed. I'll bring it up. I can't hold it up. No, she can't hold it in. <laughs> hold it up, sorry. She can't hold it. So, but usually, if if if, if the issue is resolved, and and I, I guess the whole point is to to discuss it, find a solution. Um, the only things that I miss, or I don't, you know, everybody has um, some features I guess so some sometimes you act and the other person is like oh my god what is she doing uh, but you know those are just small and insignificant you just let them pass yeah we don't you usually don't let stuff linger I mean it's yeah. you know it, it, it's not good for us it's not good especially it's not good for her I mean, because she's under enough stress and pressure from work she doesn't need the added drama of you know, letting stuff sit on her and on her mind. So I think that it's it's always been with us, anyways. Just get it out and get it over with, and then move on. If you had a theme song, what would it be? When you think about even Tom, what theme song would fit you guys both? God, I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. I I know one time I was missing him so much, and I was really. I heard that song with the, the "You're the Wind Beneath My Wings." That's how I thought of him. He looked like Gibbs anyway. Huh? <laughs> he looked it's like. Not getting my good side. I'm already. I'm already worried. <laughs> Who is the morning person? The next question is, who is the better cook? <laughs> All right. Who said, I love you first? I did. Who apologizes first after a fight? <clears throat> who spends the most money? Can I, can I use both hands for that one? <laughs> who is always on the phone? <laughs> who, who loves to travel? Who is more assertive? Who is most spontaneous? And lastly, who is most romantic? I want you to know that I'm very proud of you. I know you work very hard. I know you're under a lot of stress. I'm very, very proud. Of, of the commitment that you have towards your job, towards your daughter, towards your grandbaby. You surprise me every day with your um, motivation and your tenacity and your um, willingness to go beyond the normal to get your job done. Wow. Wow. Um, I am, uh, oh, well. So my turn now, right? You want me to get you a hanky? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hanky? That was beautiful, Tom. Beautiful. Um, I want you to know that no matter what I'm doing, my heart is always with you. Always. I, always. And I want you to know that I am very very appreciative of your support, your humor, your cheering voice, and your directions when I am missing from the job. <laughs> yeah, like, like like, the, like it's the, calling your name. Yeah, your cool. cheer is empty it's for cool. it has been empty for too long. Right, it's done. Yes. Yeah. Listen, when you when you show this to everybody else, make sure that you let them know it's R rated. <laughs> <laughs>